Katrina and um, we're doing a Q&A. It's my first Q&A. Katrina, how long have you been here? 10 days? 11 days? Okay, so she's brand new and you guys know I've been here about a year and a couple months, give or take. We have the veteran and <laughs> and the new. The newbie. <laughs> yeah, so there's going to be a little over here. Little different perspectives on like, you know, some of these questions. So, let's get started. All right, so this next question is about cars and wearing your seatbelt. Um, you, J333, noticed that I didn't wear my seatbelt in um, the taxis in the back. And she was like, are you supposed to do that? Like, we got in trouble in Canada for not be putting in our seatbelt. In a taxi? In a taxi. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, in Canada, she got in trouble. It was like a hundred and sixty-seven dollar fine. That's insane. For not, they don't have any rules about. here. First of all, like. <laughs> there's no rules. <laughs> okay, so back in the, in the back of the taxis, in the front taxi, you can get your seatbelt on, and I yeah, I front, always put, I put it, it on. on in the front. But what do you have? You ever had um, angry taxi driver when you put on the seatbelt? Yes. Well, not to me, but to Mercy, he was like. What are you doing? <laughs> really? Okay, so it wasn't just me. <laughs> like, um, apparently, they get really offended if you use a seatbelt because it's telling them that they're a bad driver and that you're afraid of them. They are and, bad drivers. and they are bad drivers, but it's that you're disrespecting them by keeping yourself safe. safe. I don't understand this, but take offense to that. Um, yeah, but they genuinely take offense. Leave your to life it. in my hands. Trust yeah. me. Like, um, I don't know you. <laughs> like, <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> Yeah, you just pretend that you don't understand them. Even if they're yelling, you just go. <laughs> you just leave, let's you know. Go. Right, Onward. it's just all, let's go. <laughs> um, but then in the back seat though, like you know how when you're, um, a car like flips down their, the seat, and mm -hmm. sometimes the seat belts will get stuck? That's what they do on purpose. So like the seat belts are stuck behind. Oh, no. Yeah, the seat. So you can't even buckle. Like, and even if you get one on the outside, the the thing that you the click buckle, into yeah. is all the way under the seat. You have to open the car to like get it out. So, so they don't like you wearing your seatbelts. Uh, her other question is about milk products. Uh, I mentioned there's not many milk products. Which I just found out today. They don't even have milk, and they don't have any cheese, which really sucks. Yeah, <laughs> that's one thing you miss as an American when you're out here. I'm sure you miss it if you're from Europe as well. But no oh, gouda. <laughs> and then the cheese they do have, like okay, even like a normal thing of like cheddar is like. This imported, so like maybe like two or three slices, and yeah, like, and it's know, just twenty bucks, and it's like only the foreigners eat it too. Like it's not something that an Asian will go to the store and be like, oh, cheese, I think it's, eggs, you know, whatever. Yeah, I think it's because a lot of uh, Asian people happen to be lactose intolerant, so it's not part of their diet. They all eat soy. <laughs> yeah, and that, and speaking of soy, <laughs> I'm allergic to soy, that so sucks. I have to constantly. I have an, an intolerance of sorts, but I have to constantly ask, does this have soy in it? I can't have hot pot because they use soy oil in the pot. I can't have like half the things because there's tofu, the tofu, tofu ma, tofu ma. It's like, is that is that tofu? So it's very annoying for me. Uh, Christina Murrow asks, as you may be able to tell, I have red hair. In your personal opinion, do you think it will be okay for me to stay with red hair, or should I dye it to a brunette color? Thanks for any input. Let's talk about hair. Hair. Yeah. If this is your natural hair color is red, or if you easily always have red hair and it's like you dye it once and you won't have roots, I would keep it. Anyways. I don't see the point of changing yourself and the way you are just because you're in a new country. You're going to get attention regardless because you're a new person in, in a different place, but you shouldn't yeah. have to change yourself. I mean, I'm not going to cut my hair five inches because somebody suggested it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, well, you should cut your hair. Well, you should just go do something else in your life. <laughs> and a lot of girls get it perm straight when they come here too. And even if you go to a place, they'll suggest that too. Like, oh, you want me to straighten your hair? Like, and you're like, oh, no, I no. just want it trimmed. <laughs> Don't straighten it. My hair is naturally straight. Otherwise, I would love to have curly hair. Please, please, please. You'll get attention for your hair, but you'll just get attention for being white. <laughs> the only thing I would worry about getting your hair done out here is not easy. Oh, no. <laughs> no, because they look at your hair, they don't know what to do with it because it's very different style. Their mm. their follicle is oval shaped. My um, my hairstylist told us this, and it's oval shaped. So how you cut it is different, especially if you have curly hair. Oh, they'll yeah, wash it like this. It <laughs> what happens if you wash your hair like this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't touch my hair. <laughs> don't touch my hair. <laughs> okay, so um, I just told her something, and I'm gonna tell you guys too because she didn't know about it. Um, women. Do not accept drinks, 
period. Unless you are committed to sleeping with that person That's why they don't that night. Drinks at bars. They will not buy you a drink it's because it's bad. telling you that I'm going to sleep with you later. This. <gasps> what? You didn't tell me that when the Canadian guy offered us a drink? Well, it's a Canadian guy. It's different. Yeah, Canadians don't know. Okay. Do you remember the first time I went to acapella? It's completely completely dead and um, Alex was offering us drinks. Oh, Alex? And that, no, no, no. Alex is from Canada. A Canadian guy that was sitting over here and he's like, I noticed that you guys Oh, blah, that's gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. I mean, that was an old white dude, whatever. Just they had this French Canadian. They yeah, they like the customs for people in Europe and, and America well, still apply bars. in bars, but Chinese guys do not accept drinks from Chinese guys unless you are absolutely going to sleep with them that night immediately. I'm glad I know that now. Yeah. Yeah, so be careful. Don't accept don't accept things. <laughs> be like, no thank you, I don't drink. <laughs> How did China change you? So how China has changed me, I am more patient. Persistent patience is <laughs> yeah. what I've learned. It's like super patience. <laughs> that should be like <laughs> Halloween costume. Super patience. <laughs> um, any of you that know me personally know that I was not a very patient person about anything. If it didn't go correctly, I'd ruin your day. After you know being here a year, I think ultimately I am flexible and happy and understanding of where people are coming from. Thanks for watching Wheelie's Travels and thanks Katrina for sitting in and answering all the questions. If you have any more questions about China and traveling and moving abroad, please leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Say Jan!